din acel rând, sper și fie lor, cu pentru că l-a făcut din nou, cu acea o vreme după atâta de mine, că avea cu pe oste. Cu invece ce cam e bine, dar să ne start, as we continue, and even as we end. We commit all of us, before you, Lord, all the children at home, Lord, and all our parents at home, that you bless us together, that your word will remain in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now we are going to recite our children's creed. I'm sure we remember and we have taught it to our parents as well. So let's go together. I believe in God the Father who loves me and hates sin and the Son Jesus Christ who died for my sins. I believe if I repent, he will forgive me and give me his Holy Spirit. I pray to him diligently. Amen. Clap for yourselves. That was a good job. Let's always remember our children's creed. And now it's time to invite our teacher for today. We all know him, he's our friend. Let's clap for our teacher. Praise the Lord. Watoto habarizenu. Habariza watoto. Ile wibo yetu muna kubuka. Tunafanya mikono na mna hii. Nani anaweza kubusha nini? Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, amen. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, amen. Bana sifiwe, watoto wabarizeni, unajua ni siku mingi, aya ya sija muwona siku mingi. Vile mmeka, lakini na shukuru mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Vile mmeka, najua nini muko tayari, kusikia neno na mungu, na mimi niko tayari, kumuambia vile mungu wa minyabia. Na nita, shukuru sana kwa sababu leo, tutakua tunasoma. Jabu moja, mimi sija isoma hapa, hatuja soma siku igine. Hata siku buki wakati nifudishwa. Leo tutakua tunasoma something we call it in English, nasema, the golden calf. The golden calf. Semeni, the golden calf. Na hiyo somo, itatoka kwa kitabu inaigwa Exodus chapter 32, verses 1 to 34. Ni kubo, ayo ni lefu, utasoma ukiwa nyubani kabisa. Exodus 32, from verses 1 to 34. Washa ni mwambia story. Na kila mtu, anyamaza. Kulikuwa wakati moja Mtu alikuwa naitua Moses Najua hile mtu mishu wa mungu Moses Moses alitumwa na mungu Aende, aende huko Egypt Ashukwe watu wa Israeli Awatoe huko walikuwa Walikuwa hawatu walikuwa ni slaves Imagine, walikuwa na pigwa Walikuwa na fanya kazi Lakini mungu akatumia Mtu moja tu naitua Moses Muna kubuka Moses Vila alizaliwa, na vila alika kwa maji Uyo kijana mtoto, mtoto kama hini tu Vila alika kwa maji, akatolewa Sasa mungu na mtumia Na vila mungu ata mtumia nini Ata mimi ni majamu God, God be praised So, wakati Musa alitoa watu kwa wa Israeli Haka watuwa huko Egypt Wakakuja, wakakaa kwa jagwani Na mkubuka hiyo story yote Hiyo mulisomecho na kubuka Wakakaa huko kwa jagwani Lakini mungu siku moja kukilia. Hawa watoto yangu. Vile walika huko. Nilazima ni wafundishe mambo yangu. So Moses akaitwa na mungu. Aede huko kwa mlima. Kuna mtu wana kubuka hiyo mlima. Ile Moses alipatua ten commandment. Inaitua Mount Sinai. Moses akaenda. Akaenda huko kwa Mount Sinai. Waka subusa na mungu. Unajua Moses alikuwa afraid ya mungu. Haka sugumza na mungu, waka sugumza, waka sugumza, haka patiwa ten commandment. Haka patiwa nini? Ten commandment. Ten commandment. Amulikumi ya mungu. Bata asifiwe, amulikumi. Anyi nyumbani, muna kubuka vile muna hapi waka na mama. Usiseme hii, usifanya hii, usiende huko, usiulare mta sikulisi. Sahi, hiyo yote ni amu, mzase na kipatiaga, usifanya hii, mziede kwa suwe so, hiyo yote. Lakini sasa, mungu aliambia watu wa Israeli. Ten commandment akapatia Musa. Musa akakaa huko, akakaa huko, kupe wae 
watu wa aliacha huko chini ya mlima wakaanza kufikiria huyo Moses alienda wapi si tu amesahau amesahau sisi alienda huko kwa Mungu akasahau sisi lakini hawakujua walikuwa wanazungumza na Mungu ili apatie mawaida akuja waapie so hao watu wakati walikaa sana Moses akarudi hai lakini wakati alirudi kube ya watu they had stayed with somebody called Aaron the brother of Moses they stayed with him and told Moses is not coming make us a god make us a god that we can worship him that we can pray to him because that is the god who took us from Egypt ah huyo mtu anaitwa Aaron amusi pendi imagine aliambiwa afanye kitu na, na watu na atafanya na ni kitu baya lakini acha nikwambie wakafanya kitu wakachukua kitu wakatengeneza kitu ati ngombe imagine wakatengeneza ngombe eh katoka kama ka ngombe ati hiyo waombe that is a golden calf alon made golden calf for the people of Israel to worship because Moses had stayed for too long Moses akasikia wakati alikuja akasikia watu wana dance watu wanaiba watu wanashangilia Moses akasikia akasikia akasema aja ya 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 hiyo si nzuri hiyo si nzuri wakati alikuja kakuta watu wanashangilia hii idol wanaiba wanacheza ah Moses akaona hiyo ni vibaya sana lakini basha nikwambie kitu moja si Moses peke yake hata hiyo aksi ano hata hapa hapa kwetu mimi nilipitia mahali nikaona kuna watu wanaabudu they are worshiping idols unaona kuna mtu can you see this one ndani ameshaona kama hiyo ukipitia huko ni wahindi wanakaa huko huko westland au ni huko parkland utakuta watu wana wanakaa namna hii hata wengine wanaibeba imagine wanaipatiwa ati maziwa ati hiyo ni mungu yao kuna mungu anaweza kupeleka na na wilbur hapana wengine wako na hii wako na aidho kama hii ah hiyo kitu si mzuri ah si mzuri wengine idols idols hii wakati hii mambo tunaiona tunaona ah watu hawajui mungu hawajui mungu hawajui mungu mungu wetu hawezi bebo ati nabeba tin idol na mbeba hapana mungu wetu ni mungu mkuu bwana asifiwe Our God is so great. Imagine he is the God who created the whole universe. He is the God who created me and you and even created your mother. You know some of you don't know. your mother was created by God. Your father was created by God. Acha shosho was created by God. Even doggy was created by God. Even the swimming pools, even that ile iko Mombasa ile kubwa ile ocean. Yote na mlima Kenya ikitengenezwa na Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. God created all those things. He cannot be a God that you can carry. Ati unabeba. Unabeba huu. Ati huu ni Mungu unabeba. Bana, our God is so great. Bana asifiwe. So, when when Moses came and found these people who are, are worshiping this idol, this one. Suppose Moses came here today in Kenya, he will find people worshiping this one. Others are praying this one. Others are praying this one others wengine wanabeba hata na wameweka kwa gari ati ni idol yao ati ni god yao atamsaidia ah no 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 our god is great bana asifiwe so god was not happy about it moses was not happy about it and what is important now for us is to ask ourselves do we worship idols do we have idols at home kuna mahali sisi tunao tunaoba hiyo nyumba wengine wengi wanasema hapana lakini when we as human being who are created by god start thinking our fathers are gods our mothers are gods our money is god our house is god we forget the true god the god who actually created us those are idols so i want to this this afternoon or this morning to share with you that what god told the people of israel and he was very serious when moses came he came with a commandment one of the commandment said oh, and i think that is the memory first said do not do not worship any other gods 
Praise God. Do not worship any other gods. That is what Moses came with. And he told the people of Israel, they should not worship any other god. So before we go on, it's good to ask ourselves, how do we worship God? How can we worship God? I want you to tell you the same. Cross where Jesus Christ died on the cross for us when we agree that we have been, our sins have been forgiven when we have stopped worshipping these things and then come here and accept Jesus Christ. This cross makes us move away from those idols. Now we go to God. Praise God Batoto. Praise the Lord. So how do we worship God? Bwana asifiwe, najua wengine hawatujui, lakini when I told you, praise God, praise God, that is worshiping God. We worship our God by faith. We also do adoration. Father, we thank you. We worship you. That is adoration. We sing. Kama vya tumeibare, nanita mwimia wimbo moja, na yu hiyo wimbo mkubushe. Ata when we are praying, that is worshipping. We read the Bible, that is worshipping. We make offerings. We kneel down and to pray to God. These are all forms of worship. And many more. Ata when you know that we are here, you know dash, dash, dash. You know what they say, When I see you. So, as we think about our lives now, children, let's be serious now. Kira mtu atege, atege maskio. As we worship God, as we think of our lives, let us think about the saving grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because that is what has helped us to move away from worshipping the idols and come to the newness of life through Jesus Christ. All of us, before we are born again, we used to worship idols here. We used to worship of idols. Lakini sasa, mungu amekua mzuri kwetu na tumekua watu wa Yesu. Bana sifuwe. So before long, children, nataka tu, tu, tujikubushi. God, has, God said, do not worship any other gods. Yes, we should not worship any other gods. We should only worship our God, the God who sent his son Jesus Christ there on the cross. And because I'm going to finish, and before I finish, I want to remind you, do not worship any other gods. And therefore, this is how we are going to finish. Children, rise up. Smameni, you cannot do namna hi. The same, I will enter his gates with that giving in my heart. I will enter his course with praise. I will say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Finally, what Toto? Do not worship any other gods. Let us worship our God. Let us not kneel at a golden calf like the people of Israel did. With that, children, I finish and I want to pray with you. Children, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit every child into your able heart. You who is able to keep us, O oh God, keep our children in peace, protect them, and give them your grace, even as they spend their time with their parents. Lord, we pray you protect them. And that God, their hearts, O oh Lord, may be tuned to you always and never worship idols any time in their lives till Jesus Christ will come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello, children. That was wonderful. I am blessed. And uh, let's give a good clap to our teacher because he has taught us very well. A wonderful clap. And God bless him completely completely and we have enjoyed the lesson may the word of god remain in your heart in our hearts in all of us that was wonderful and that was uh, what we had for today we are happy that you came we are happy that you invited your friends 
always do the same next time don't come alone thank you parents for joining us we know you are there we can see you and uh, god bless you too and it's always wonderful to have you with us so as we end we are going to have the words of grace together so let's say the grace and now may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit do that now and forevermore.